Shut up and sit down. Okay, today I'm going to make some tiger nut milk and I'm using my new vegan milker which I got from um, Plant Based Live and it's by Shufa Mix. I also have tiger nuts um, from Valencia, again from the same brand but I've soaked them overnight um, for 24 hours and then I also have a hand blender. So the ratio from tiger nuts to water is 200 grams of your nuts and then you can have one litre of tap water or filtered water, depending on what you prefer. So this is actually my first time using this. So I'm going to unpack what I have. Um, I remember seeing from the show how to blend it. I just have to make sure that I've got all, all the parts I need. There we go. <laughs> so this is where the milk will eventually end up. Um, you put your nuts in here. You secure it in um, and then we can start blending. So I'm just going to pour my one litre of tap water into the jug part. And you have to make sure you really press down. You can add any cinnamon, lemon peel or sugar if you want to. Um, you can also use vanilla extract, anything you want to put inside with your tiger nuts. Or your almonds, you can be using almonds for this as well. Just to let you know, these are what tiger nuts look like. And they are not nuts in any way, shape or form. <laughs> yeah, they're really hard as you can hear. So that's what they look like. And I'm going to put them inside the middle part. Now that it's all secure, I can start using my hand blender to push it all the way down. Now that I've got my milk in this part, you can see how foamy it is inside. This is a great to keep as well if you want to make bases of, um, you know, cheesecakes or you want to make or bake with anything. This is going to be perfect. And it's ready to go. Okay, and for your leftovers, which you have in here, I'm just going to scoop it out. I'm going to try and actually put it in here. Best I can. Because all of this is really great for the base of cheesecakes, etc. So I'm just going to scoop the rest of it out. And this kind of like dry leftovers so what I'm going to do is just put a lid on it and then I'm going to freeze it and that is how you make tiger nut milk <laughs> 